Riley, first I feel like I should thank you on behalf of myself and millions Aww. of people who have been so touched by your music Aww. over the years. <laughs> so lovely. Now, what, when did you find out that you had that gift of writing <laughs> music? Uh, you know, I'm still shocked every time I write a song that is okay enough to sing or lead. So, yeah. Really? I, You're shocked? Yeah. After all of your success? Yeah, when I became a Christian, you know, at 15, I, I'd always been singing since I was little, you know, paid to sing since I was 10. Mm. Um, but I started writing songs when I was 15, mm. as soon as I got saved, really. Mm. And every song still came as a shock. It was like, oh, I think that might actually be a song. And I still feel exactly the same. Really? Yeah. So I love doing it. Um, mm. But every time I just go, oh, <laughs> that might work, yeah. So, yeah, I don't, um, I, I work on it and hone that gift, but um, I certainly don't take it for granted, you mm. know, so, yeah. Writing Shout to the Lord. Obviously, you've been asked that question time and time again, mm -hmm. but take us back to that time of your life where you were able to mm -hmm. jot those words down on paper. Um, okay, well, you know, we were um, not in full-time ministry or anything like that, and had a business that was struggling and I was singing jingles and mm -hmm. we were working voluntary at the church and um, two little girls, you know, and just being mum and um, it was at a really hard time in the business and, you know, we just didn't have any money and had big dreams but our reality compared to that, you mm -hmm. know, was very, very different and I was out of frustration really went and sat at this piano that my parents bought me when I was five mm. and um, it was quite out of tune and I just turned to the Psalms, you know, I've, all, I've learned to do that, I learned to do that early is just open the word, especially the Psalms mm. and pray and sing and write, you know, for me it kind of all weaves into one and I just, I really didn't write that song, I just started to sing it. Between Psalm 96 and Psalm 100 really are those words and they kind of all fall on the same two pages, you know, so I opened Psalm 96 and um, yeah, I just started singing. It took about 20 minutes to write it. Wow. I didn't play it to anybody for a while because I just felt like it was so simple and when I finally did, I made the worship pastor at our church at that time and the music director stand with their backs to me because oh I was so embarrassed, oh. you know. I'm, all, wow. I'm quite a shy person when I'm playing and singing and I'm like, change anything you want. And then I'd start <laughs> again, it's not really any good. Do, 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 do. And when I finally got it out, um, Jeff said, that's beautiful and mm. we're going to sing that this week. And it just, it kind of, as soon as I played it, it took off, it just had a life of its own, it just left me. Amazing. It is amazing. <laughs> and now, you know, millions of people yeah. sing this song. Yeah, Does that amazing. boggle your mind when you yeah, think about that? Yeah, boggles my mind. Yeah, so you don't think about it. Just go, <laughs> by, by the grace of God. Wow. Yeah. So tell me about that love relationship with God. Tell me about how that started. You know, my parents, um, and my grandparents were Christians I, when I was very, very young, but my parents really had a rough time, you know, with the things of God and with each other, and they really left the things of God for a big season of my early childhood. A time in her life she doesn't enjoy talking about. It was a trying time for her and her family. Juggling her role as a child actor on a local television show and dealing with her parents' divorce, she was forced to grow up pretty quickly but it was during this time that she found God. When I was 15, I was living in the room of a home of a single mum at a local church. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, my father recommitted his life to Christ and he came um, one day, he said, baby girl, I'm taking you to the church, pick mm -hmm. me up. And you know, I went and got a job, I moved out. You know, it was just a turbulent time. I was really lonely. So when, when um, I went to a youth meeting, when the pastor said, does anyone want to receive Christ? There was two of us that kind of ran. Mm. It, it overwhelms me still. It, it, um, it was just everything that I was looking for.